I cannot wait to get home to talk to y'all about my evening. So, I have already administered the Follistem and the Dell Estrogen. Follistem is the pen, automatic, and the Dell Estrogen is the really thick oil that's every three days that goes in my bottom. And I did it all by myself. I cannot tell y'all how proud I am of myself. I have always had a fear of needles. Needles. I have always flinched, looked away, winced, and sometimes cried when I've had to get shots or IVs. And there's nothing that anyone can say that can make a fear, a long time fear, go away simply because they say it, suggest it, or tell you that it's going to be easy or it's going to get easier. My fear cannot disappear like that. You can tell me until you're blue in the face and until I conquer it, until I go on the other side of that fear, that's where I'm going to find where I'm supposed to be. So many people have told me it's easy. Um, it's nothing. Uh, it ain't that hard. I have heard everything that shoved me into doing it and ignoring my fear. And sometimes that's not the best thing. Sometimes you have to face fear head on. Sometimes you have to psych yourself out. It's whatever works for you. And I've had to do what works for me. And I try to look to people who know what they're doing when I'm seeking professional input or advice or assistance. And I was fortunate enough today to have an old friend come out and assist me to do this and watch me do this on my own. She's a phlebotomist. She knows exactly what she's doing. She is excellent at her craft and her profession. And she's also very familiar with me. So get out my kitchen, Sheba. You know better, you know I belong in here. I guess I should introduce her to y'all at some point, huh? But she don't belong in my kitchen. So she was kind and generous enough to come out. And I told her, make sure to let me know when you come in because I'm going to have some fresh baked cookies for you. And um, I put to get her together for her a nice little package of her favorite cookies. So fast forward, I tell her how I'm attempting to do this. And every morning when I get up, before I get up, I'm laying in bed on my back and I twist my leg over as if to just stretch my back. Well, the other morning I was like, huh, this seems like the perfect position for me to be able to do this shot on my own. And with the needle being about that long and with the medication being really thick, them telling me I had to draw up to make sure that there was no blood and then continue to push back. And all the videos standing are, are the models standing up Re turning around and reaching behind them stabbing themselves with it and somebody gonna tell me oh you can do that that's simple I'm sorry if, pardon me if I don't believe you however today with me being in that position I was able to achieve it on my own what she helped me to realize was that I wasn't breathing so I took a deep breath in I did not choose to close my eyes because I wanted to watch where I was administering it. It worked. The breathing helped a lot more. It gave me a different uh, bracing of myself. It wasn't a tense. It wasn't a tenseness. It was my body was half relaxed, very alert and focused, if that makes sense. And she mentioned to me that my first video would make someone not want to do IVF. I don't want to have that much of influence in that direction. My main purpose here is to share my experience. I'm glad that I can be able to show at some point that this is becoming easier. Some are easier than others. It's achievable. My fear of needles is legitimate. I, up until now, have been petrified 
don't want to look at it, ask for the <laughs> Just one moment. Don't want to look at it. I've always asked for um, the smallest needle, like the ones that they use on the babies. I think they call them butterfly needles or something like that. But some of the medications that have been administered to me at different times, that needle wouldn't work. So, um, all right, pardon my technical glitch here. Let me check it. Oy. Um. Hopefully that works. My apologies. I got to learn how to edit those kinds of things out. I'm going to figure that out. But anyway, um, this is just my experience and I'm sharing it because someone else may feel the same way I'm feeling. Watch me do it and then see how I got to the other side of my fear and where I found success and excellence and, and a, a less of a fear. That's the only thing I'm showing. Um, I can only be me. I can only show you what's happening to me and what I'm going through. This is not a um, tutorial per se, but it's just me sharing my journey. And if anybody out there, if any of you know someone or you want to do this, you're going to experience whatever your anxiety is as you're doing it. But don't allow how my reactions have been dictate what you choose to do. Don't give me or my reactions that much power. But let it give you the courage to see me do it and I'm pushing through it. I would want you to do the same thing. Some, of, some people faint at the sight of needles. So if you see me doing it and you saw how, how upset I was and how, how much I was crying and how it kept... It kept hitting me that I was about to do that. Let that be a positive notion. Please don't take that as a negative notion. Please decide what is best for you and allow me to be everything in a positive example. Allow me to be everything that is just authentic, genuine, raw, and real. I have had my anxiety and my fear of needles dropped tremendously, especially today. Especially today. I'm just so proud of myself because I would have never imagined that I would have had to give myself a shot. I knew about the stomach ones. I did not know about the ones in my behind. And um, what do you do? I know someone, her protocol called for her to give her, her her shots in her leg. And she had an uncomfortable experience and she pressed through. When I told her mine was in my buck, she's like, well, you know, you can do yours in the leg. That's not what I was told to do. <laughs> I'm going to follow what I was told to do. So I'm just really excited because I've seen myself grow. And I'm not going to let anybody take that away from me. Nobody. I don't, I'm not, I'm not accepted, accepting any backhanded comments, compliments. I'm not accepting any negativity. I am riding forward with the positive support that I'm getting, with the professional input from, from acquaintances and friends that I'm getting, and I'm riding with that. And I know that I wanted to get to the point to where I could do that shot by myself, and I'm there. She watched me. She said I did a good job. So, who goes to me? I am focused on Chipmunk. I'm focused on my future child. I'm focused on my baby. And this is truly and honestly and earnestly my experience and my experience alone. And I just want someone else to benefit from that because up until a couple of days ago I didn't see anyone my color I didn't see anyone my age I didn't see anyone single by themselves doing it by themselves um, and then some, a couple of people pointed out some blogs to me and I've been watching so I just want to share my story they're sharing theirs I'm gonna share mine and I have 
the most positive outlook on this as I can. And I'm, I'm not going to let anyone distract me with criticisms or any of their isms, unless it's a positive ism, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I couldn't wait to get home to share that with you guys. I'm in my kitchen about to clean up and make myself a quick little meal. And, um, I think I'm going to sleep good tonight. I don't think I'm going to have insomnia tonight. Um, I think I know that I'm good. Tomorrow is my first follow-up since I started the injections. Tomorrow I have a, um, on day five, I have baseline blood test and ultrasound or sonogram. And they're gonna look and see what the medication has been doing. They're gonna tell me what to add, what to take away, and how often and how much they want me to do it. And I need I had everything I needed today when I went to work. I packed everything great. So I'm good with what everything that I've been doing. I'm confident about it. So waiting for my next set of instructions tomorrow. And I talked to my daddy tonight and I told him what I was doing. He was like, say hey, what? So he was like, let me know when the next step is. I'm excited for you. I'm like, that's all I needed to hear. So um I will attempt to record tomorrow, film tomorrow, um, maybe a small portion of it. I love the staff at my facility. They are soft and kind and sweet and they're friendly and they're helpful and they are all genuine with all their moving parts and they have lots of moving parts and they are synced and it works so I'm ready to eat late but I'm ready to eat something so thank you I appreciate you share with anyone um, subscribe and follow along with me on my journey to get chipmunk here safe and healthy peace